back. Ron Anini and the Car Doctor. Happy to be here with you. 855-560-9900 is the phone number. Give us a call. Keep in mind that is 24-7. Give us a call. Leave a message if we're not on the air. And Fast Harry, our executive producer, will call you back and get you in the lineup for the following week, and we can talk to you about your car problem and fix it for you because that's what this radio show is about. Speaking of Fast Harry, is Harry out there somewhere? Harry. I'm right here. Hey, bro. Um, it's uh, time for the Facebook T-shirt winner of the hour this week. Okay, let me read you the question, Ron. Read, read now, me the question, F.H. Now, this is from Kevin Flood. Kevin is a longtime listener, and he's in England. Right, yeah, right? sure. Yeah. So here's his question. Yeah, go ahead. Hi, Ron. Here's a question for you. I have a 1929 Model A Sport Coupe that I imported to the U.K. a few years back, and my question is around oil. As you know, this car is a Babbitt-bearing, non-oil filter lubrication system. I removed the oil pan a while back and cleaned out the years of sludge left from a combination of non-detergent oil and lack of changes over the years. I ran some synthetic 10-way 30 in it for a few days to complete the cleanup, and now I've gone back to straight SAE 40 mineral non-detergent oil. Would it be wise to stay with the 40-weight mineral, or do you think, say, a 10-way 30 synthetic would at least would at least do... Do no. no harm, and perhaps the benefit of the long term. That was a little typo there in his uh, Facebook post. Uh, love the show. Kevin Redding, Berkshire, UK. UK. Well, I'll tell you what. Thanks, Harry. Good job. Uh, you know, it, it's funny. A friend of mine has a, has a Model A, and we, we talk about this all the time. And, uh, you know, Hick tells me that, and during the course of the conversation, he too was concerned about oil. And, you know, how much to put in and, and, and what weight and what viscosity. And we had the whole Pennzoil conversation, and I made him get out the Pennzoil Synthetics, PennzoilSynthetics.com, and read all about their synthetics and how their synthetics do help clean because they th- that is a plus. But in the end, in a Babbitt-style bearing of something of this age, think about what we're talking about. We're talking about an engine that's been around close to 90 years. It survived on such a variety of oils and such a variety of owners I'm sure the care and, and, and expertise level given it sometimes weren't great. And it still managed to get here. Look at the design and the technology. Look at how good it was. Uh, my concern with going to a multivisc in something like this, Kevin, and, and what I said to Mike, um, my friend with the A, is that it's a Babbitt style. And you, you worry about viscosity. You worry about um, putting something in there too thin you know, trying to add technology to where a place where technology may not do any good. And as far as cleaning the oil, you know, using word about the synthetic and how clean, because it will, Penn's oil synthetic will help clean up the engine. Uh, you know, the fact is you're going to change the oil so often now because you're trying to take care of it, you're going to baby it, that I don't know that, you know, sludge is going to become an issue. So if it were me, I would probably stay with the SAE 40 mineral non-detergent oil and if you wanted to run a little synthetic through it once in a while to help clean up whatever sludge might be forming or whatever sludge you might think come out, that's good, too. You know, we ran this past one of our engine builders that we know a couple of years back, and his conversation, his comment was, why would you take the sludge out? It's probably what's keeping the engine quiet because it's running on the sludge, and that's what's uh, helping the engine survive all these years. So uh, stay with the SAE 40. Use the synthetic if you want. As a cleaner on an occasional basis, you can read all about Pennzoil Synthetics at PennzoilSynthetics.com and draw your own conclusions. But Hickey's still running his heavyweight one viscosity oil, and uh, he's doing it the same way where he runs a Pennzoil Synthetic through it on an occasional basis, and that seems to do the job for him. I'm sure it will for you. Hey, Kevin, I appreciate the call, and I appreciate you going through the effort to take the podcast and listen in on the show from good old England. And uh, we're going to be sending a Car Doctor t-shirt your way, just please send me an email, ron at cardoctorshow.com with your name and address, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. And for everyone else, if you want one, like the page, like the Ron and Andy and the Car Doctor page, send us a question. 855-560-9900. We'll be back right after this.